Oh, Peaky Blinders ain't that good. Hello, I'm Paul Warren, and this is the EFL A to Z. Analysis. Define your three best attributes as a manager. I would say humour, I'm hilarious, uh, humility and honesty, I think. Banter. Who was the biggest joker in the dressing room? Um, probably Dan Barlazer. Uh, not intentionally, because he ain't the sharpest tool, but I think uh, he's probably the funniest without even knowing it. Cinema. What is the best film you've watched? Best film ever, I'm not so sure, well, that's a big question, but recently James Bond, I love James Bond films. Drive, what would be your dream car? Dream car, I would say a um, 1950s E-Type Jag, with aircon though in fairness, I need aircon, I can't have the old fashioned cars. Uh, eat, name your favourite food, uh, my favourite food is fish, any sort of fish I think. Or my mum's shepherd's pie is amazing. F, fans. Describe the Rotherham support in three words. Oh, that's a good question. Rotherham support in three words. Loyal. I think they've been pretty loyal. Uh, appreciative of... Oh, I can't say three words. Can appreciative. And if I explain, they're appreciative of effort. And third one. Expectant. I think they always expect us to win every game, but then I suppose all fans do. Grades, what was your favourite subject at school? Um, human biology, loved it. Um, I think I got an A in GCSE, a B in A level, then I went on to do a sports science degree, so I love biology. H for hobbies, what do you do when you're not playing football? Walk my dog Chief, he is my life. I've had him for two years now, my Red Fox Labrador, so I could literally just run away with him. Uh, I for Idol, who did you look up to when you were growing up as a kid? Who did I look up to? I think uh, Zico, uh, the Brazilian footballer, I named my first dog after him, so I think he was my hero, my idol really. Uh, he had lovely hair as well, which obviously I don't have. Job, what would you be doing if you weren't a footballer? I'm a qualified teacher, so I always thought I was going to go and teach um, A-level human biology. Uh, haven't made it yet, but there's still time. Uh, K for karaoke, what is your favourite song of choice? Uh, take that. Uh, oh no, actually, Christopher Lady in Red. It's easy to remember, very easy to remember. Love, what made you fall in love with football? Uh, I had two older brothers who were identical twins. I just wanted, they were older, four years older than me. I just wanted to hang out with them. They played football every day after school at the park. I just wanted to be with them. I ended up playing. No one ever tackled me as a kid because my brothers would beat them up. So I just fell in love with the game. I thought I was really good. It's just the fact that no one could tackle me. But that's how I fell in love with the game. Uh, mystery, tell us something we might not know about you. God, that's a brilliant question. I mean, I'm quite talkative, so I virtually tell everyone everything. There's no secrets. I tried to learn Italian. Uh, speak Italian, failed miserably, so I don't really tell anyone about it. The only reason I tried to learn Italian because I thought it would impress ladies. Notable, uh, who's the most famous person in your phone book? Oh, I've got a few. I've got a few. Uh, I'd probably say Chris from Muse, the guitarist. Opponent, who's the best player you played against? Uh, Danny Cullop at Sheffield United. Not the best player, but the dirtiest. He used to bite me. Well, not bite me, but he used to grab me, he used to nip my hamstrings. He was disgusting to play against. Pizza, what's your favourite pizza? Topping of easy ham and pineapple, Hawaiian, nailed on. Great pizza. Quality, who is the best player you've played with? Cool. Uh, I would actually say uh, Stuart Talbot, uh, centre midfielder for Rotherham. Uh, no one else will have him on their best ever list, but for us he was excellent. A great leader, a great bloke. I just thought the team was better with him in the team. He was just, yeah, Stuart Talbot. Rewind, if you could relive one moment from your career so far, what would it be? It would probably be my uh, debut goal for Wigan against Blackpool when I lobbed the goalkeeper. I turned pro at late at 24, so it was a big deal for me. So that. Style, who has the worst dress sense in the squad? I would say, I hope everyone has said this. Wes, he's got the worst collection of tracksuits I've ever seen. 
uh, although Angus is a very close second. TV, what series are you currently watching? Ted Lasso, hilarious, absolutely buzz off that. And uh, Taskmaster, obsessed with that as well. Unique, give us your unpopular opinion. Oh, unpopular opinion. Oh, Peaky Blinders ain't that good. Not really. People say it is because it's cool, but not really. Vacation, what's your favorite holiday destination? Holiday destination I've been on would probably be uh, Cyprus with my kids, I think. Mind you, Turkey's quite good because you get a lot for your money, but I'd say Cyprus. Wembley, how much are you looking forward to managing under the arch? Yeah, quite a bit. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to manage there before, coach there before, and play there twice. So I've been really lucky. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's a great honor, but I think it's more about our families, our players' families, my family. I think it's as much for them as a thank you for being supportive than it is for us personally. Xylophone, I bet none of the lads could read xylophone, could they? Uh, <laughs> xylophone, can you play any musical instruments? No, I am horrendous, but I really want to. I, I really like classical music, so I'm really impressed with musicians, but I can play nothing apart from the triangle. Yikes, what is your biggest fear? Open water, I think, although I do swim in it sometimes. If I can't see land, and I fly on holiday and I'm over sea, I'm not keen. Zoo, what's your favorite animal? By far the dog. I know it's not really in the zoo, but the dog is the best animal on the planet, bar none. Oh, man. Done.